Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. It's the Empress, and in today's video, we have a beautiful pick a card reading where we are looking at what blessings or positivity is coming into our life in the next 30 days from when you watch this video. So this is a timeless video. So whenever you come across it, it's going to be um, in the next 30 days from when you come across this, um, regardless of date and time. So out in front of you here, we have five different cards to choose from or five different stones to choose from. Uh, and I'm going to ask you to take a couple of deep breaths, really try to ground yourself, connect to your intuition, connect to your guides, and ask which one of these cards out in front of you is holding the blessings that are coming your way. And here we have card number one, two, three, four, and five. And I will have the timestamps to the beginning of each reading in the description box below, along with the cards that I'm using for anybody who is drawn to any of the decks that I use here today. Uh, so with all of that being said, go ahead and pause the video if you still need a moment, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose card number one with the honey calcite here, this reading is for you. And we are looking at what blessings or positive energy is coming your way here within the next 30 days. So group number one, let's go ahead and take a look at your first card here, the overall energy of the positive um, kind of blessings coming into your life and then we will shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So group number one. Oh, we have Sawilo here and this is beautiful. Look at the sun shining back here. Group number one, this is success. This is uh, a sense of freedom, a sense of victory, of uh, vitality for some energy re-energization coming in for group number one and this can be in uh, one or multiple places of your life so this could be like your actual energetic levels uh, being raised here feeling more healthy feeling more vibrant physically this could be um, you know being re-energized or replenished uh, health wise or financial wise or emotional wise some of you guys may be coming into a point within your relationships where um, you like your relationships are being re-energized or replenished as well so very beautiful energy coming in for you guys victory success some of you guys may be coming into a promotion or the spotlight in some way shape or form as well for sure there's a strong uh, emphasis here on like physical energetic levels and um, kind of career uh, advancements here uh, the, those are the loudest energies but definitely can be in other places within your life as well so let's start out here group number one with a few oracle cards and then we will get into your tarot so group number one blessings and positivity coming your way in the next 30 days group number one we have the corn. There is a harvest. There is something, you are reaping the rewards for something that you have been working on for a while. So for a lot of you guys, this could definitely have to do with, um, let me just adjust this, this could definitely have to do with your job, your career, um, you know, getting a raise, um, reaping the benefits or rewards for the work that you've put in. And this is also, I feel, um, being recognized um, either for your job or career or for physical kind of health advan advancements, people noticing the weight that you're losing or there's like a glow up here physically happening for group number one as well. Wow. All right. So that's awesome. A lot of abundance though, a lot of prosperity coming in here for you guys. And it may be something that you've been waiting for for quite a long time for group number one or working towards for a long time, even like the last 10 months maybe have been very draining or very uh, work oriented for you and it's like the sun is finally shining you are being replenished re-energized 
you are able to take a minute to celebrate here. So some of you guys, within the next 30 days, there's going to be cause for celebration, to celebrate some sort of victory or success, and your guides really want you to do that, okay, to celebrate how far you've come. Group number one. We have the air guardian shift your perception. Yeah, I really feel a strong sense of clarity coming in here with this Sowelo energy and the sun and this victory. I'm really getting the energy of like the sun card in the tarot, the clarity and the uh, abundance in the... So with the air guardian here, this is saying like you guys, for one, like I said, it's like people are going to be noticing the glow up that you guys are currently going through, but it's almost like you guys, people are going to start looking at you differently. Some of you guys really gaining a lot of respect within the workplace or within your environment. There's people looking up to you. There's something here about the way people look at you kind of transforming. Again, it's like being in the spotlight uh, group number one. Wow, so that's really awesome. I love that. Let's pull one more oracle card here and then we will get into your tarot and go a little deeper. So group number one, blessings and positivity. Romance with the rose. Oh, yeah. Like I said, for some of you guys, this is definitely like a replenishment in relationships whether romantic or not, um, this is a general reading, but a lot of you guys reaping rewards romantically, financially, and physically. So it's just this total package coming in for group number one, and I absolutely love it. Harvesting the abundance, um, harvesting all of the things that you've been putting energy into. It's like all of that energy coming back to you. So reciprocation is going to be a big focal point. You're going to be getting um, reciprocation for a lot of things. Some of you guys may be getting money paid back to you. Um, some of you guys uh, in regards to like romantic relationships, there's going to be a recognition of all of the the energy you put into the relationship um, or even friendships there's just you guys are going to be in the spotlight like a lot of popularity kind of energy coming in here for group number one everybody looking up to you everybody looking to you and at you at your glow up at your kind of uh blow up even for some of you guys you may be like really blowing up in your career in your relationships like things just expanding in a very beautiful way I absolutely love that let's get you guys some tarot and go a little deeper into these blessings and this positive energy coming your way in the next 30 days some of you guys this could definitely be meeting a romantic partner um, or um, moving to the next phase of your relationship. Definitely like engagement type energy coming in here. Uh, but let's see here, group number one. We have the three of wands. There's that expansion energy, that recognition that there is so much more to explore and to experience in life group number one you guys are like feeling very adventurous spontaneous even um, very exciting 30 days coming your way here I really feel that for you guys um, And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so I really feel for you guys that whatever has been holding you back, whatever has been holding you in a specific perception or in your comfort zone or in this space of feeling like um, you have to focus solely on uh, your immediate environment, your immediate tasks and the things that are currently around you at this point, like that is being lifted and there is like this expansion of perception coming in here this ability to see that there's so much more to experience and to uh explore um so again like the sense of freedom coming in for group number 
one and this could be mentally for sure with the air guardian here um, freeing your mind from something that maybe you've been very stuck on or restricted by breaking through some limiting beliefs in regards to money and romance energies depending on your situation um, wow and we have the knight of cups yeah so for some of you guys there's definitely um romantic potential here um somebody offering you an emotional gesture somebody asking you on a date somebody asking you to marry them depending on your situation and um those kinds of things for others of you where this isn't romantically oriented there is definitely some almost like emotional reciprocation happening here this could be friends this could be family you know definitely doesn't have to be romantic but there's something here um somebody offering some emotional support uh for you in the next 30 days somebody kind of connecting emotionally to you in the next 30 days uh, and then we have the two of wands coming out here Some of you guys may be traveling somewhere in the next 30 days. You may be taking a road trip or um, flying somewhere. That energy is here as well. Uh, this energy of like adventure, exploration, travel coming in quite strongly. And we have these six of swords. Yeah, see, you guys are overcoming this restriction. You are freeing yourself from anything that's holding you back. And you're also, I love with the two of wands and the three of wands, he's looking out over this ocean. And then we have the six of swords here where he gets in the boat and he just starts going, even though he may not know where he's going yet. Um, there's no longer anything to hold you back. So you guys are definitely breaking through some mental blockages in the next 30 days. Really breaking through some mental blockages. Um, especially in regards to the way you think about love and the way you think about money. Um, and just a lot of excitement. Yeah, Ace of Swords. I love it. Um, so definitely a lot of clarity, a lot of perception, a lot of changing in the way you are viewing your life and your reality and the way you have maybe kept yourself restricted by limiting beliefs or by a lack mentality. That's really what I'm feeling here. Group number one is you guys are breaking free from a lack mentality. And with that, you are opening up to be able to receive um, everything that you felt like you were lacking or opening up to be able to see that maybe you already have those things um, but you couldn't see them because of the mental um, restrictions that you had the bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune so there is definitely a changing in your financial and relationship energies happening here and for all of you here I feel regardless of how the rest of this is resonating there is a replenishment and revitalization of your own energy of your kind of vitality and there's like a physical glow up happening here for group number one over the next 30 days which is absolutely beautiful i absolutely love that let's go ahead and get some more cards for group number one look at this we have authenticity yeah, you guys are definitely moving into a deeper sense of truth in yourself. You are being freed from any kind of uh, limitations that have been placed on you by others or by a perception that you have to be what other people need of you. Um, so definitely overcoming a lot of self-limitations here group number one which is awesome i love this like definitely a sense of freedom here um and we also have fickleness coming out here so some of you guys there is something here over the next 30 days where you are finally going to be able to kind of follow through with something that you always thought you would do or said you were going to do there's um a sense of completion coming in here for group number one interesting um we have divine love on the bottom of the deck so some of you guys there's definitely like a, a soulmate or a partner romantic partner coming into play over the next 30 days in regards to these blessings coming in for you for sure 
and we have letting go everything is indeed out of control and god will hold it all i can safely let go um yeah so there's definitely some releasing of um these these restrictions there is definitely a releasing of trying to control or dictate the way everything happens or um, some of you guys maybe you've been keeping yourself in this little box in order to try to kind of control the way things happen um, the things you're exposed to the things you have to deal with and there's like this huge release happening for you guys um, bringing a lot of freedom in and then we also have self-love. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. Yeah, and I feel like that's a big part of this glow up here. You guys are falling in love with yourself and you're like going to ooh, going to be like radiating that energy, which is absolutely beautiful. A lot of love, a lot of abundance coming in here group number one this is beautiful um a lot of you guys changing the way you view yourself um changing uh, a lot of change in some self-worth sense here wow um and with that recognition of the self-worth you're also going to be kind of altering your vibration and your energy to be able, some of you guys, to be able to kind of match a, a new kind of romantic love vibration. So that may be part of what's drawing um, a potential partner in for some of you. Let's go ahead and pull you one final message. Group number one, one final message in regards to your blessings and positive, positive energy in the next 30 days. Group number one. A blessing for solace and hope. Yeah, see, there's definitely, excuse me, there's definitely like um, the sense of future coming in here, um, looking towards the future, brighter days ahead, a lot of energy coming back in, um, and like excitement for the future coming in for group number one which is absolutely beautiful i really really love this some of you guys this could be reconciliation or forgiveness um hope of maybe like reconnecting to something that you've put a lot of time and energy in but that's only for a few of you here but this is what i'm seeing for my beautiful group number one if you enjoyed this reading if it resonated with you if it brought you value please do hit that like button comment down below let me know if you chose this pile let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i thank you guys so very much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye Hello, my beautiful group number two. Those of you that chose card number two with the Desert Rose, this reading is for you. And we are looking at blessings and positive energy coming your way in the next 30 days. So group number two, we will start here with the overall energy of the blessings coming in for you. And then we will shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So let's go ahead here. Wow. Um, so you guys, I really feel like you guys are going on, um, with this desert rose coming into your reading, the kind of statement that kept going through my mind was vision quest. And with Raid Ho here, this is, um, a journey, this is action, this is movement. So I do feel for you guys that wherever you've been stuck, um, at least in one area of your life, whether this is internally or externally, uh, there is going to be movement. But I also feel for you guys, group number two, that there is this sense of vision quest. There is this sense of gaining clarity of purpose coming in for you in the next 30 days, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, but with that, there may be like some seclusion happening for you. You guys may be finding yourself in a position where people are falling away or maybe you're going, being very introverted or feeling very separated or lonely from other people right now. And I feel like this is because you're being asked to go on this kind of vision quest journey. Um, interesting. So let's go ahead and we're going to pull a couple of oracle messages here. 
Um, and then we'll get into your tarot. So group number two, blessings and positivity coming your way in the next 30 days. We have flow. Yeah, so there's definitely, um, it's almost like there's there's some kind of change coming in for you guys. Um, so there is a need to kind of go with the flow or to take the actions that you are being guided or asked to take right now without resistance. So there's really a need for surrendering for group number two in regards to these blessings and this positivity because I almost feel like for you guys it may be coming through in a way that is unexpected or outside of how you thought it would come in or what you thought would come in. Um, so there's going to be like some sort of resistance or hesitancy to the actions you're being asked to take. Um, and there's a need to really kind of surrender to that right now for you guys. Interesting. Um, let's pull another card. Okay. We have the stag with trust and thrive. And how perfect is that? Trust and thrive. Surrender and take action. Surrender and move into this abundance, even though it may not be in the way you thought it was going to be. Group number two, actually, I feel like it's not going to be in the way you expected it to be. Okay. I don't, I don't feel like it's going to come in in the way you thought or in... Uh, the package you thought it would come in. Um, in the bottom of the deck here, we have the Direction Guardian with Choose Your Path. So you guys, it's almost like you're at a crossroads. And over these next 30 days, you are being guided uh, potentially in a whole new direction um, or in a whole new way in order to get to this abundance or prosperity, um, this kind of thriving energy that you are meant to... Um, embrace here. Let's pull another card, group number two. So the stag or the horse may come through as kind of a sign or a symbol for you guys or synchronicity for you. That is something that I am seeing here. Um, there may be travel coming in for you guys in the next 30 days as well. Um, in some way, shape, or form. Wow, and then we have tea tree with binding. Um, yeah, so I really feel for you guys that these blessings coming in are connecting you to your abundance, to your prosperity, this positive energy. So even though on the surface it may not feel like it's a good thing, like uh, especially if you are experiencing like this separation energy where um, certain things are falling away or maybe you're feeling isolated or introverted or separated from people or from events or situations. There's a need to know that the reason why this is happening is because your energy is like trying to it's it's almost like all of your energy is being called back to you in order to connect you to your blessings. I don't even know how else to say that. Um, some of you guys may even be going through like some cord cutting as well. I'm also seeing the black cat sticking out here. So again, there's this huge message to follow your intuition, to go with the flow, um, and to really try to release any expectations that you are maybe clinging to. Um, interesting. So let's get you guys some tarot and see if we can't see where you're being led for group number two. We have the High Priestess. So there's a huge transformation in your psychic abilities, in your intuition, in your connection to your guides and to spirit and to the universe. Um, and there is a need to really connect to that through this next 30 days, to trust your inner senses, like to trust your intuition and your guides and your spirituality almost more than you're trusting your physical reality right now, group number two. Wow. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so I do feel for you guys that there's like the sense of crossroads here where you guys are being asked to make a decision. 
um, and and spirit saying like the the ball is in your court for that. You get to choose in which way you move forward, um, but you're being guided to choose the path of freedom, um, whatever that means for you. Whether that is to separate yourself from other people, whether that is to change jobs or um, change environments or move away or travel somewhere that you've always wanted to go. So it's going to be different for everybody here, but there's a need to choose freedom, a need to choose I feel like for a lot of you guys here, group number two, a big part of this kind of blessing that's coming in for you in the next 30 days is a lifting of some sort of burden, responsibility, or heaviness, depending on your situation. There is a lifting of like weight off of your shoulders coming in here. And we have the seven of cups coming out. Yeah, so um, group number two, what I'm really seeing here for you guys is the sense of clarity in direction trying to come in here. A lot of you guys may not, ha you may have been going through a period in your life where you didn't know what you wanted, you didn't know where you wanted to go in life, you didn't know, you know, what cup to choose, you didn't know what basket to put your eggs in, um, maybe you didn't even know what you liked or who you were, um, and I feel like you guys are coming into self um, over your journey and through your journey here and over the next 30 days you're going to be gaining a lot more clarity in regards to which path is going to suit you best instead of trying to keep every path open. Um, you guys it are, it's almost like connecting to a path. You're, you're committing to a specific path or to a specific life or to a specific career. Um, some of you guys may, may be signing a contract of some sort over the next 30 days. So there is a sense of like to, uh, a message here to choose the path that brings you freedom but with that choice it's almost like a commitment or like a binding to or a contract that you're signing um, in order to choose this that's very interesting let's pull some more cards um, then we have the seven of swords coming out here Yeah, so whatever this is, it's something that is not going to be able to be taken away. For some of you guys, maybe you had a home or you had a car or you had, you know, a specific path or purpose that you were moving towards and it maybe got taken away from you in the past and maybe that's what kind of caused you to stay still and to not really go after anything out of this fear of it getting taken away in some way, shape or form. And it's um, group number two, a big part of this blessing and positivity is that this time around, um, the way that this is being set up for you, it's not going to be able to be taken away. Um, so there's really a need to kind of resist that fear and kind of move forward. Again, like the biggest kind of energy, the overall energy coming in here is the energy of movement, of action, of taking this journey or this adventure here. This also can speak of like the natural rhythm of life. So I really feel for group number two that a big part of this message for you is that things are going to be speeding up and there's a need to kind of be prepared for that as well. Um, and again, there is this message coming through here to like trust your high priestess energy, to trust your internal energy, maybe even working with like your shadow or higher self, depending on, you know, where you're at on your journey here to move through life right now, because I'm really feeling like you are really being asked to trust your internal self, your spiritual self, your intuition, more than you're trusting your physical environment. Interesting. That's interesting. Um, then we have the Two of Pentacles coming out. Yeah, so there is definitely a choice to be made here for you guys. Um, a choice 
um, to choose in which direction you're going to move in this physical world. Um, so for some of you guys, this is about moving homes or moving jobs or, or buying a new car or some sort of physical energy um, is going to come in from this decision that you make. So choose the one that brings you freedom. Um, choose the one that brings you more financial freedom is a message coming in for some of you guys. Um, so if you're trying to choose between um, homes, there's a need to kind of choose the one that maybe is more in your price range. If that's something that you're looking at or contemplating. Um, if this is about job or career, you know, take the one that's going to maybe pay more depending on your situation. Um, there's definitely something here about financial freedom, choosing financial freedom for some of you guys. Um, but for all of you guys here, regardless of how this choice is coming through, choose which option is going to bring you the most freedom. And then we also have the Three of Cups coming out here. Yeah, so there's something here, group number two, where you guys are going to feel like celebrating. You guys are going to want to celebrate. Um, some of you guys, this could be like a housewarming party or like... Um, a celebration because you got a contract or you signed on to a new job or um, some of you guys this could be a going away party if you choose to you know go on an adventure or journey or travel or move to a new city town or state um, but there is definitely celebration of whatever this choice is coming in for you guys as well so that's very beautiful let's go ahead and pull some more cards group number two we have awakening yeah see there's definitely some spiritual energy being enhanced and expanded for you through this next 30 days as well and there's a big need to trust those energies Oh, look at this. And then we have discernment. Yeah, so you guys, there is, um, like, this choice, this need to be able to discern between illusion and reality for some, um, to, the, to discern between the truth and um, deceit for some of you guys, um, and really using the discernment to see kind of um, which choice which path is going to be the best for you so um discernment is kind of your key word over the next 30 days i feel for group number two let's go ahead and pull another message here surrender yeah sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying the ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe yes yeah, so you guys um definitely this is an energy that you are definitely being asked to just kind of come into the best you can over the next 30 days for sure um and then we also have right now stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled at each moment. Um, wow. Okay. So big message here is to surrender um, and to stay present and to only try to maybe control what's immediately in front of you, the decisions that are immediately in front of you instead of trying to see like how they're going to play out. 10 years down the road, okay? So do what's best for you right now, group number two. Um, I also feel for a lot of you guys, you may be um, overcoming some grief or healing from some grief in the next 30 days as well, um, depending on your situation, but definitely movement in the heart space, healing um, happening for you guys for sure. But let's go ahead and pull you one final message for group number two. One final message in regards to your blessings and positive energy in the next 30 days, group number two. Okay, so we have two that want to come out, and I'll take them both. Um, so here we have a blessing of the earth, which I feel is, again, kind of this physical energy that's trying to come in with the decision that you make. 
Um, and then we also have a blessing on your health, which could be that physical energy, again, like the physical body um, healing. Some of you guys may be overcoming some um, alcoholism or um, addictions as you move through this process as well, um, moving through codependent energy for a lot of you guys, regardless of how that comes in. Um, but again, like healing coming in very strongly for group number two. Again, choosing your freedom regardless of what that means for you. Freedom emotionally, mentally, physically, financially. Um, and then the bottom of this deck here, we have a blessing for a fresh start. And I feel like that's very significant for you guys because I feel like a lot of you may be starting over um, here in the next 30 days in some area of your life or to some capacity. So that is very beautiful, but this is what I'm seeing from a beautiful group number two, uh, movement, action, um, freedom coming in for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, please do hit that like button, comment down below, let me know if you chose this pile, let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful group number three, those of you that chose card number three with this beautiful piece of fluorite here, this reading is for you and we are looking at the blessings and positive energy coming your way in the next 30 days. So we are going to start off here with this card for the overall energy and then we'll shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So group number three, coming into your reading, I want to touch a little bit on what I was picking up on um, because it was um, uh, a, almost like this essence of really wanting something to happen but then feeling very conflicted about how you would react or how you would respond if it did. Um, some of you guys are wanting somebody or something to reach out to you, to connect to you, to communicate with you in some way, shape, or form. That is something that's coming in here. Um, and I do feel for the majority of you that this communication or this connection is going to happen. Um, how you guys all deal with it is going to be a different case here. But I do feel that connection or that communication coming in for you if that's something that you're looking for. Um, but let's go ahead here, group number three, and get into your reading and see what we have coming your way. So here we have a breakthrough. We have enlightenment. We have balancing. We have transformation, um, which the fluorite here really speaks of kind of a balancing point um, as well um, between maybe the spiritual and the physical realms for some of you guys. Um, but there's definitely um, kind of like breakthrough energy here. Um, an awakening energy here for group number three, which is quite powerful. I really feel for a lot of you guys that there's going to be like a major breakthrough or awakening in certain areas of your life that you've been feeling very lost or confused in. So there is like the sense of finding your way here, um, finding out how to move forward or, or bringing in that clarity on how you would respond to this connection or communication that's coming in if that's something that resonates with you. Interesting. So uh, let's go ahead here, group number three, and we're going to pull a few oracle messages here, and then we'll get into your tarot. So group number three, blessings and positive energy coming your way. A lot of you guys may feel very blocked creatively, romantically or emotionally anyways um and i feel that lifting for you guys there's just this sense of like a roadblock um not knowing where to go not knowing how to move forward that you guys are breaking through over the next 30 days we have the crow coming out here for you so um wow so with the crow here, this is almost magical. There's like divine timing coming in here. There's also going to be a lot of signs, synchronicities that something is come. There's a manifestation coming in for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys may feel very black spiritually or feeling like... Uh, 
some of you guys this could even be playing out in the physical world again if you're wanting somebody to like communicate with you or reach out to you in some way shape or form maybe you've been like blocked on their social media or um this could go vice versa maybe you've had somebody blocked on your social media and they're trying to connect to you in some way shape or form very interesting um but i i feel for a lot of you guys um even if there's not somebody you're specifically wanting to reach out to you there's some sort of like spiritual connection or communication already occurring so for those of you who don't have like a specific person in mind i feel like you still know who this is um and that message is very strong here. At the bottom of this deck here, we have many paths. So again, there's like this essence of confusion coming in here that is going to be lifted um, for group number three. Very interesting energy coming in for this pile. Um, let's pull another card, group number three. We have the mountains. Stand your ground. Um, so the mountain may be coming through as a sign or synchronicity for you guys. Um, that may be something that you're seeing a lot of images of or that's being brought to your awareness in um, many different ways. But with stand your ground here, for some of you guys, again, this is like um, boundaries coming into play or even blockages, but also this sense of um, not being able to see like what's on the other side of the mountain and I feel for group number three a big part of this positive energy or these blessings coming in for you is like being able to be at the top of the mountain and finally being able to see clearly um, what's behind you and in front of you instead of having this mountain like right in front of your face and not being able to see beyond this blockage um, but there is a need for strength, for stability, and for boundaries for a lot of you guys coming into this reading. Um, some of you guys, this is about finally standing up for yourself in some way, shape, or form as well. Wow, okay. So, let's continue here. Let's go ahead, group number three, and get another message for you. We have breathe with eucalyptus. So there's definitely this essence of something being cleared. Um, clarity, clearing, cleansing, breaking through blockages coming in strongly for group number three. Very strongly. Um... Some of you guys, this is definitely like spiritual enlightenment, uh, recognition or healing of shadow energies for some of you as well. So let's get some tarot. First out, we have the seven of cups and there's that confusion, that illusion. Um, that's kind of the energy that I was picking up on for you guys is like this inability to kind of choose or to see clearly where you want to go or how you want to get there because of all of the things that may be in the way. Um, so there's definitely like this clearing, this cleansing energy coming in here. Um, lifting an illusion or this fog. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So there is commitment coming in here as well. Strength, loyalty, um, that's very interesting. So for a lot of you guys, you may have been really questioning where somebody stood with you in regards to how they feel about you or what their true intentions were. And you are going to be finding that out throughout the next 30 days. That will be different for everybody here. Um, but there is um, this energy of commitment or loyalty. So for some of you, this is like finding out where their loyalties lie. Um... Interesting. And we also have strength, yeah. Um, so there's a huge emphasis on strength, on courage, standing your ground, boundaries, heavy Leo energy here. Um, yeah, so there's definitely something here about really... 
some of you guys taking your power back. But again, like this strong emphasis on standing your ground, on being strong, having like a very strong energy and presence about you over the next 30 days as well. Wow. We have the Hierophant. There's some more commitment, loyalty, um, energy coming in here. Some of you guys, somebody may be offering you like their commitment um, or pledging themselves to you in some way, shape, or form. Wow. Some of you guys, this is definitely a very spiritual connection. Um, I also feel for you guys, there is definitely this balancing of the spiritual and physical planes where a lot of you guys may very much so be um, kind of stuck in the very spiritual energy um, and have a hard time staying grounded. So there is this sense of becoming more grounded over the next 30 days as well. And we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you guys, there is a releasing of burden, a releasing of heaviness, a releasing of this confusion, a releasing of this inability to see how to move forward because of the weight that's holding you back. You feel like you haven't been able to or something has been in your way or blocking you or too heavy to carry. Um, it's being lifted and you guys are going to be able to see clearly how to move forward. That's really what I'm seeing here is like this clear vision of how to move forward coming in for group number three and then we have the wheel of fortune coming out beautiful yeah very empowered i'm feeling very empowered in the next 30 days and um courageous and having the strong sense of self um coming in for you guys and there's just this sense of finally taking the next step or finally knowing how to move forward or knowing what you want. Um, so a lot of clarity coming in for group number three. Let's pull some more cards here. Companionship. Yeah. So for a lot of you guys, this could be reconciliation um, or connection with somebody that you were confused about previously. Like that's the very strong message coming in here. Wow. Divine love. Yeah. So you know, in the bottom of the deck, we have identity. A lot of you guys may have been running away from somebody or something that you wanted because you may have been scared of people seeing you for who you truly are. But there's like this sense of being empowered by being your true authentic self here over the next 30 days. And that's going to allow you to really embrace the things that maybe you ran away from before. Um, wow. Wow. We have expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Yeah, so a lot of you guys, there may be a healing of the ego coming in as well with the strength here and the mountains, um, as well as like with this breathe and the crow. I, I, there's this strong sense of like, again, like I was talking about being on the top of the mountain, the crows fly like in the air and with this breathe, there's something here about like a breath of fresh air or finally being able to spread your wings, finally being able to fly above something, to rise above something. Again, this lifting of this heaviness coming in for you guys. Being able to see through the fog, finally. And we have sanctity coming out. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. Yeah, so there's definitely something here about expanding your spirituality and awakening. That's here very strongly. That's definitely something you guys are experiencing through the next 30 days. Let's go ahead and pull you one final message in regards to these blessings coming in for you guys. So we have companionship, divine love. Some of you guys, this could be twin flame, soulmate energy, very strong connection to somebody, reconciliation, forgiveness, communication in some way, shape, or form that's going to relieve a lot of pressure. Um, even if this isn't a person, there's some sort of communication coming in for you that's going to relieve the pressure that you've been under. Um, look at this, a blessing for good work. Yeah, a lot of you guys, this could be in regards to your work, your job, um, 
but there's definitely like this essence of healing the divine masculine um, and releasing some heaviness, um, releasing the pressure you've been under, allowing yourself to finally breathe, feeling like you can finally breathe um, in love, in work, um, in spirituality. Uh, but this is what I'm seeing from a beautiful group number three. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other readings you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number four. Those of you that chose card number four with the fire courts, this reading is for you. And we are looking at blessings and positive energy coming your way in the next 30 days. So group number four, we are going to take a look here at this card um, and the overall energy of your reading. And then we'll shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So let's go ahead and see. Group number four, positive energy coming your way. Wow. So here we have the energy of the higher self, the energy of um, courage, of defense even, or protection for some of you guys. So some of you guys, um, there's a need to know that like your boundaries are on point right now. Um, there is like a strength, a protection, like a blanket of protection coming in for you in some area of your life within the next 30 days. I feel like you guys are really going to um, recognize that certain things that maybe were emotionally triggering or very difficult for you to deal with are going to feel easier to move through. Um, or easier than you expected them to be to move through. And there's also this sense of endurance coming in here. So um, with that, there's like willpower, um, the, the willpower to keep moving forward or motivation to keep going um, in some way, shape or form. So that is very beautiful energy um, coming in here. Um, and with the higher self, I feel a lot of like higher communication, a lot of like divine guidance coming in here. Um, so higher self being very active in these next 30 days, um, really trying to lead you to what is going to be best for you. Uh, wow, so that's beautiful. Let's go ahead and get you some more oracle messages here. Um, and then we'll move into your tarot. So group number four, we have the arrow. Yeah, there's some sort of focus coming in here, some sort of direction, some sort of, um, it's almost like a target being identified for group number four, which is awesome. Um, really having clarity in where you want to go and how to get there and really almost, I'm almost seeing this as you guys being the arrow and like just making a beeline straight to some sort of target. Interesting. Um, and we have Sky Father, trust in the unknown. Um, so the eagle may be something that's um, quite symbolic for you guys in the next 30 days. There is this sense of freedom coming, but the unknown, the higher self, the spiritual realm being very active for you, as well as... Um, this direction being very strong for you. Wow. Um, so even if you don't know quite how things are going to happen or what's going to happen once you get to this target or anything like that, um, don't allow that to hold you back. Don't allow that to hold you back, group number four. Uh, so I feel like you guys are definitely ha like em embracing the courage to step out into the unknown in the next 30 days and it's going to bring you a lot of blessings a lot of positivity um and we have sugar coming out with sweetness um yeah so there's something very very sweet coming in you guys are being led somewhere that is going to It's, it's going to bring a lot of happiness, I feel, for you guys, um, but it's, it's also coming through as kind of this, 
this need for protection as well because for a lot of you guys the the journey to get to this sweetness may involve facing some kind of like thorns it's almost like I'm seeing this as climbing like a rose you're going to have to climb over the thorns to get to the petals kind of energy here so there may be some rocky areas in this journey for you guys in the next 30 days but there's a need to know that it's all really aligning you to a very sweet target okay let's go ahead and get some tarot for group number four and go a little deeper into this and what you can expect over the next 30 days group number four we have the two of swords coming out here yeah so there's really a need to listen to your higher self to listen to that internal voice and not allow anybody or anything to influence or impact your decisions or your choices or your path um, that's a very strong message here group number four so there's definitely something here about like not allowing people to change your direction not allowing your environment to change the direction that you move in we have the five of pentacles coming out um a lot of you guys may be living with some fear of abandonment or this fear of betrayal this fear of rejection um, that you have to face by embracing your inner voice um, and that may be kind of the thorns that i was talking about like feeling very much so like the outcast or like you are doing things in a different such a different way than everybody around you that they are not supportive of you in some way shape or form there's something here group number four where you guys are feeling very rejected or defeated or feeling very almost abandoned here because you are choosing to go in your own direction and that may be very difficult for you in these next 30 days but that is what is transforming you into your happiness like there is really a need to face this fear of abandonment or this heartbreak or this betrayal um in order to change like your direction your your path your Traje your trajectory here is being changed by facing this fear of abandonment and accepting your inner voice over the voices outside of you. Um, a lot of people may be telling you that you're doing the wrong thing or that this is never going to work or um, you're never going to get to where you want to go or this isn't ever going to work out or whatever it is or that you're going to fail. And there's really a need to face that criticism and still do what it is you feel called to do right now group number four wow because it is bringing you some major transformation especially in the heart space um, in regards to anywhere your heart has been broken or anywhere you have been betrayed um, before there is healing behind this group number four there is healing so you guys are definitely being led to a very uh, beautiful healing energy and a very stable energy um, here a very protective energy um, so again, I'm getting this message like facing this isn't going to hurt as bad as you initially thought it would, okay? Um, whatever that means for you. Uh, and facing this is really what is aligning you to your happiness um, because you are embracing your true self, your higher self, your spiritual self and going where you are actually going to be able to be happy instead of staying where you feel like you're supposed to be. We then, wow, the Three of Swords coming out again. Um, yeah, so there's defi <clears throat> definitely a need to choose the self here. Big message for group number four, the Tower. Major change coming in. And like I said, this is like a bittersweet kind of energy coming in here because there's like this huge need to face something that needs to be kind of deconstructed, that needs to be destroyed. There's a need to face your pain, your heartbreak, or your fear of those things um, here by choosing your voice within and where it's leading you to go instead of allowing the people outside of you to kind of direct or control you and where you go in your life. Um, major transformation happening here. Wow. And then judgment. And then you're, you're being freed here. You're being freed from the heartbreak, from the pain. Um, you're being freed from any <sighs> judgment. <clears throat> Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there is some major 
major energy coming in for you guys over the next 30 days. Major transformation, major change in reality, um, major change in your emotional state, and major change in your perception of like the way other, major change in the control that your environment has over you is really what I'm seeing here. Um, really releasing any fear that keeps you stagnant, that keeps you subservient, um, and choosing your own happiness over the opinions of other people. Wow. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and get some more cards here. So this is going to be quite an intense... There is an intensity about this for group number four, an intensity. Scorpio energy here. We have companionship. Um, so a lot of you guys really healing the heart space, um, past heartbreak energy being healed so that you can connect to somebody or something again. Some of you guys, this could be reconciliation, but it does not have to be. Um, but there's definitely something here where you guys are learning how to connect to other people based off of like your connection instead of off of how things happened in the past or off of what other people expect from you. Um, we then have awakening. Yeah, that higher self coming in quite strong for group number four, for sure. You guys are awakening to self here, um, awakening to your higher self even. Um, and then we have rejection. Yeah, see, there's that fear of rejection coming in here. And again, it's like, it's not going to hurt as bad as you thought it would. That's the message I keep getting here. Um, there's a need to be honest with yourself and with others, a need to, uh, live more authentically. Um, that's really for group number four, something here that I feel like would be very beneficial for you through this time is living as authentically as you can, regardless of whether or not other people support you in your journey, or they think you're going to make it, or maybe there's people wanting to see you fail. There's just this need to really cut out any external opinions, advice, criticism, and do what's right for you. Okay. Um, let's pull some more cards, group number four. Limitless. See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. Yeah, so there really is no limit. Um, and there's something here like once you face this fear of rejection or once you face whatever this is for you and choose yourself and choose the guidance that you're receiving, um, you are going to expand and awaken and receive a lot here, um, a lot of sweetness, a lot of healing. Um, for some of you, it's going to allow you to kind of match vibrations or energies with some sort of partner, business partner, romantic partner, some sort of friend that may move forward with you in some way, shape, or form. Look at this, individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. So again, there is this emphasis on being yourself, being who you are, even if that means being like the black sheep or doing things against the grain or in a way that other people may not approve of group number four. So don't let anybody or anything hold you back from what you need from um, any conversations that you need to have or from any actions that you need to take. Um, don't let anybody tell you that you're not going to make it or that, you know, you're not good enough or anything like that. Do what you need to do. Very intense energy coming in for group number four. Very intense. But there's like this, this blanket of protection wrapped around you through this. Because um, it's almost like spirit knows how difficult this is or has been for you. Um, but it's like you've just reached this breaking point where it hurts more to stay where you are than it will to face this fear of rejection. Uh, so one final message here for group number four. One final message. 
in regards to the blessings and positive energy coming your way in the next 30 days. So starting off here, we have a blessing on growing older. So there is like a maturing, even kind of a soul maturing energy coming in here as you choose yourself and as you choose what's right for you. There is like a maturing coming in here, which is very beautiful. Um, and the bottom of the deck here, we have a blessing to find your way. And that feels very, very significant for group number four, finding your way instead of living in the constraints of how other people feel like you should be living your life okay so you guys are breaking free from that through the next 30 days and a lot of things are going to be changing and shifting things are going to be breaking down while new things are going to be being built okay uh, so quite intense for group number four but just know that through everything it is putting you on track to get to your happiness okay that happiness that you've been craving um facing all of this kind of intense energy is really aligning you to your happiness um, and connecting you to higher vibrations um, for sure. So a raising of vibration through this as well, a maturing of the soul, like soul evolution coming in here for you guys, complete and total kind of rebirth and transformation of self and of your individuality because you're no longer trying to suppress or hide it. So very beautiful energy for group number four, but this is what I'm seeing for you. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this reading. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number five. Those of you that chose card number five with the white calcite, this reading is for you, and we are looking at blessings and positivity coming your way in the next 30 days from the time that you watch this video. So starting off, we are going to look at the overall energy here, and then we'll shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So group number five, the overall energy of your reading here is Fehu. Awesome. This is wealth and luck, abundance, um, fertility, a lot of abundant energy coming your way. So there is a sense of replenishment here for some of you guys where you've been feeling very drained or depleted, especially in your finances. That is going to be uh, kind of resolved over the next 30 days. That's awesome. I love that. So let's go ahead here. Uh, some of you guys may be coming into some sort of like luck as well, some sort of being in the right place at the right time, or um, somebody may be investing into something that you're working towards, or, um, you know, maybe winning some sort of lump sum of money in some way, shape, or form, whether that be like through a lottery ticket or through legal action. Um, uh, heavy Jupiter energy coming in for group number five. I don't know if I said four earlier. Group number five. I'm sorry if I did. But let's go ahead here. Okay. And we have the Tree of Life. Wow. Um... So group number five, there's something here um, in regards to like everything coming together and being, a being able to see how everything is connected to each other in the next 30 days. Being able to see how maybe your, your lowest moments were, are still connected to your highest mo moments. Being able to see kind of the seasons and the changes of your life and how things have to evolve in order to get to um, the success or the abundance that you've been seeking but there's also this sense of growth here for you guys um, growth financially specifically coming in very strong for group number five as well as this sense of purity which i'm picking up off of the white calcite stone that you guys chose so for some of you guys there is like a purifying of intentions that is leading you towards this abundance there is a clearing of karmic energy or karmic debt that is leading you towards this abundance. Um, just this clearing of heaviness and this cleansing, this purifying of certain energies that's really allowing you to come into prosperity and abundance that you've been maybe trying to accumulate over a period of time now, group number five. Wow. So there's something like very clean about how this is happening for you. 
um, wiping the slate clean in some area of your life is very much so connected to the abundance and the finances that are going to be coming in for you. That's very interesting. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Group number five. Blessings and positive energy coming in for group number five in the next 30 days. We have the sage. Be devoted and committed. Yeah, so there's definitely something here about like um, a need to continue. Um, some of you guys may be feeling very lethargic or feeling like you're not getting anywhere or feeling like you're just hitting running into a brick wall with the things that you're trying to do and I feel for a lot of you guys the reason why is because there's something that needs to be cleared first um, energetically before you can move any further into this path of abundance um, so in order to be devoted in order to be committed to this path that means you're going to have to deal with the things that are required to clear that means you're going to have to deal with the kind of lower vibrational energies that need to be healed in order to obtain this and that's i feel what is happening for you over the next 30 days there is um, maybe some shadow work that is coming into completion some healing some clearing of karmic energy some clearing of low vibrational energy that is happening through the next 30 days that is allowing you to embrace abundance um wow okay so let's go ahead here and pull another card group number five Look at that. We have, wow. So we have sage. We have the sage and we have the sage <laughs> purification. Um, so some of you guys may need to do some, some energy work here in the next 30 days. Really focus on clearing away um, lower vibrational energies, doing some shadow work, cleansing, um, really clearing any karmic energies that are coming up or dealing with things that may be presenting themselves from your past that maybe you've never dealt with or faced previously because I'm telling you guys it's all connected to your prosperity here um, there's things that need to be cleared in order to come into this wow okay so let's go ahead you guys may be like <laughs> facing some sort of testing through this time um, to see how bad you really want it to see how committed you really are there may be certain temptations coming into your life uh, or back into your life that are tempting you to kind of stray from your path um, and it's almost like testing here like karmic testing interesting let's go ahead here group number five and get you some tarot we have the queen of cups so there's a need to go with the flow um, instead of being in any form of resistance here group number five so going with the flow especially emotionally when certain things are being presented to you that um, have the ability to alter your emotional state or maybe trigger you or make you face parts of your past that you haven't faced up until this point there's a need to do it as it arises regardless of what it is um, interesting very interesting energy coming in here so there is definitely like a cleansing a clearing a raising of vibration required in order to come into this abundance group number five and it's like the next 30 days is the the work that needs to be done to get to the jackpot at the other end of the rainbow so it's like 30 days of rain is going to pay off for group number five interesting ace of cups wow Achieving new emotional state here, um, healing, as well as for some of you guys really being inspired or coming into like a new love, a new life, um, really watering anything that has potential to turn into something that you may love, whether this is a person or a job or some sort of creative project, regardless of what it is, it doesn't matter. There is a nurturing required of this over the next 30 days because um, 
there's a lot of water energy here. So there's a lot of nurturing and a lot of healing happening for you guys in the next 30 days to really grow your abundance as well. Um, and for some of you, you definitely may be coming into contact with some sort of love. Um, and the chariot. Wow. So we have uh, heavy, heavy water energy here. This is all water energy and heavy Cancerian energy here, which is fourth house energy, the energy of the home, the energy of the mother, the energy of nurturing and healing. Um, kind of divine feminine energy here. So there's really a need to embrace your divine feminine energy here, group number five, there really is, um, because that's going to help you uh, move towards this abundance, as well as I feel a healing of the divine feminine energy coming in here, whether this be um, like a divine feminine counterpart to a twin flame journey or your own internal divine feminine energy, that may come through differently for everybody here, um, as it is a general reading. There's also, for some of you guys, an expansion of the home in some way, shape, or form, either moving to a bigger home, bigger property, bigger land, um, building adding on expanding your current home or adding people into your home or your circle in some way shape or form Wow so let's get some more cards here we have the five of swords coming out yeah so I really feel like you guys are going to be faced with some some energy of somebody or something coming back from your past um, and some of you, it may not be back from your past, but facing this energy of somebody or something trying to, it's almost like wanting to see you fail in some way, shape, or form. Interesting. Um, regardless of how this comes through, I feel like the biggest energy coming through for this is that their pride or their ego is going to be very loud and there's a need for you guys to be able to kind of navigate this um, to avoid allowing it to have any control or power over you, okay? So there may be some controlling energies, um, maybe even healing from some narcissistic or toxic relationships that you've had. Um, coming in here being very highlighted over the next 30 days for group number five um, interesting taking your power back from these situations or people in your life we then have wow the five of wands yeah so there's definitely something here group number five about overcoming some conflict some competition overcoming Some of you guys may be having people like competing over you, like fighting over you or fighting to be closer to you or wanting to be closer to you. As well as you may have certain people coming into your life telling you that you're doing something wrong or that you're doing it wrong or that you need to do it a new way. Um, so there is like this message here to be open to learning, but again, not allowing other people to change the way you move forward okay so huge huge message here for group number five is that there may you may be facing a lot of conflict a lot of arguing a lot of aggression a lot of assertion a lot of ego and pride from other people in some way shape or form over the next 30 days but there's a need to stay very gentle about this um not allow it to alter your energy, but allow it to show you where you need healing from these kinds of energies or where you've played into them before. Because again, everything's connected here for you guys. Everything is connected to your abundance and your path to abundance here. So anything that comes up like this for you over the next 30 days is showing you either a part of yourself that needs healed, a part of your past that needs healed, or some sort of conflicting energy within you or within your life that is kind of keeping you in a resistance to your abundance. I hope that makes sense for you. And then we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, I really feel for a lot of you guys here, wow, and we have the Temperance on the bottom of the deck. Um, 
So there is a sense of wholeness, but also a sense of unity coming in here for group number five. So some of you guys may really be coming into contact with like a business partner or somebody that you can really grow with in some way, shape or form, whether it's business or romantic. Um, but there's something here about expanding the home life as we talked about, but also with this page of cups here, it's like healing, but also this sense of new like a new level of connections um, even though it may be a new person new people coming into your life that you've never been in contact with um, it's it's just these these relationships regardless of whether they're new relationships or reconciled relationships they're coming in on a different level they're coming in in a higher vibration they're coming in um, to heal. It's like uh, the, these people coming into your life are coming in reflecting healing um, and purification, but especially to like the emotional body. So there will be some conflict you guys have to face um, or some energies that maybe you've been resisting looking at or nurturing or healing from. Um, specifically any sort of not, uh, narcissism or toxicity or codependency or... Um, like ego-based energies there is like a need to overcome some things like that and to heal from them healing from suppressing your divine feminine um, or even controlling your divine feminine if you're a man and this is about somebody outside of you or even regardless of your gender about suppressing your own internal divine feminine energy um, and allowing your ego or your masculinity to kind of dominate there is a healing or an overcoming of this that is directly connected to your abundance and your ability to grow and nurture let's get you some oracle cards group number five destiny wow <laughs> so group like i said everything's connected here and i guess that does really fall in alignment with uh destiny and with this being something that you're very much so meant for because i really feel for you guys that here, like everything is connected here everything in the next 30 days is connected to you obtaining your abundance in some way shape or form um, and it may not be very obvious at first for you guys but just know that this is abundance that you are destined to have and that like your soul is already committed to here um so go with the flow here. Go with the flow is a big message for group number five. Really releasing any kind of resistance or hesitancy or um, anything that tries to kind of distract you or hold you back. We have shame. Yeah, so there's definitely something here about like the ego and the pride, um, even some guilt for some of you guys, holding you guys back, needing to heal from this. So healing the solar plexus chakra for some, overcoming some shame, some guilt, some like lack of self-esteem, lack of confidence, lack of self-worth. All of these things are playing a role in this for you in the next 30 days. Um, really focusing on healing those things and overcoming those things is really going to help you stay in alignment and move towards your abundance. With the chariot here, there's definitely movement towards your abundance trying to come in. Um, for sure, there's no doubt in my mind here that you are going to be coming into a raise, into a um, a win of some sort in the next 30 days financially. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, but a lot of it is very connected to your healing processes. I see here group number five. A lot of it, maybe even all of it. Maybe this is a big part of like your soul's purpose here is to heal. Wow. We have worth coming out. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. Again, that self-worth coming out, that knowing that you are worthy of abundance and of love and of nurturing and of healing is going to uh, play a large role here. Wow. Group number five, energetic clearing, purification. During crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan. This is your next 30 days right now. 
um, purging, everything coming to the surface, um, becoming very aware of any conflict or anything that causes resistance or hesitancy within you um, and without and outside of you is a very big, big knowledge and messages coming in for you. Um, and a final message for group number five here in regards to the blessings and positivity coming your way. Uh, over the next 30 days, we have here a blessing on a new venture. Yeah, it's like you guys are starting um, to move forward in life in some aspect. A lot of you guys, this is in regards to home and family life. Um, it could be in regards to your business, but anything that you are beginning to nurture here, um, there is a new venture, there is a new path opening up for you, um, potentially because there are new finances or like new energy coming in that's allowing you to move in that direction. Um, but yeah, new energy coming in for you for sure that's going to help you move forward in some way, shape, or form for group number five. So very, very beautiful, very heavily focused on your abundance, finances, and physical um, kind of material energies here. So a lot of, um, you know, gifts or money or a new home, a new car, a new job kind of things coming in for you over the next 30 days. Uh, but this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number five. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!